Hey guys, I got a nice little video for you here on backing up your boat trailer, uh, using your mirrors, and most people don't do that, I see them looking over the shoulder and all kind of stuff, but uh, backing up using your mirrors is the most difficult way to learn, but once you learn it, it's the best way to go. So I made a video on it for you guys, I'm not sure if you like it, if it'll help out a lot, uh, if you need me maybe to redo it and uh, add some stuff to it or maybe something you think i missed uh, let me know in the comment columns uh, i'd really appreciate it and uh, you know i'll try to get uh you know maybe do it better or add, and do another video or something you know we'll kind of see what goes on here but i think i did all right for just going up one day and just trying to do it before we went out fishing uh so uh here it is Okay guys, I'm going to uh, show you today how to back up like a pro, back up like a truck driver. Instead of uh, looking over your shoulder all the time and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to teach you how to back up looking in your mirrors today. Now it's more difficult to do that, but once you learn it, it's actually easier and better. So uh, first thing I want you to do is uh, adjust your mirror so you got your uh, wheels in the lower right hand corner of this mirror and on the lower left hand corner of that mirror and then what i want you to do is drive down the road and while you're driving down the road i want you to glance in your mirrors at your trailer a lot when you're going straight so you'll see what it looks like you get used to what it looks like when you're going straight so you can use that when you're backing up so you know when your trailer's straight okay now another thing i want to tell you about is um i'm having to turn around on this ramp here at fuller's bar so you want to make sure you always turn around real slow because you're putting a lot of stress on your wheel bearings when you're going sideways like this on a lean. Uh, a lot of times that's when you'll blow out your, your bearing, your whole tire will come off. Uh, what you should do is uh, once in a while make it a point to jack up your wheels and try wiggling them and if you got a super, super light little wiggle to it, then they're okay. If you got, you know, fairly good wiggle, you should tighten them because that's what blows the center out of the bearing. Now, when you're going around a corner here, you want to go around, go to your, think you're straight enough, and then go another 30 feet. Because <laughs> you're going to need more distance than you think. This is where a lot of people make the mistake, is they'll uh, stop here, and I think they're straight enough and they start backing up and it's a lot harder to catch yourself backing up than it is going forward. So you want to uh, be sure and just uh, stop here, go the extra 30 feet, get all squared away, make your boat trailer look like it does when you're going straight down the road and then you're ready. And now as you're backing up, you know the old saying you got to turn the opposite direction? The mirrors reverse everything so you don't have to do that now, you're just turning straight. Now what I want you guys to do is I want you to find a parking lot someplace, a big parking lot. You know, you have all the little short hash marks and then you have a long straight line in the middle. I want you to get on that long straight line and put it just beside your tire down there and back up parallel with it, keeping your, your tire just off that line and get used to doing that, backing up straight like I am now. And this will help you guys. Once you do that, you got, you're got you halfway home. And then the other thing is, is when you're, uh... the other thing is when you're uh, backing up and you got, if you got to back around a corner, you don't want to go to your passenger side. You want to try to always do it to your driver's side. That's what's called your blind side. This is your good side. Uh, for one thing, if you can look out the mirror, you can see better out this mirror than you can out that mirror. And besides looking out the mirror, you can stick your head out and look out and see the trailer real easily going around the corner until you get straightened back up. So uh, keep going back here. And you want to mostly look in this mirror. You're going to have to start getting kind of good at it before you can look over in this mirror and be able to steer with that one. But uh, you can at least look over once in a while, glance, make sure you're, you know, you're not running into the boat dock or something like that. Back up here. And then what I like to do is I'll get down here and just before my uh, winch hits the water, I'll stop and I'll take my strap and stuff off. And then when I'm right here, I'll take my safety chain off and my strap off. 
Because I know I'm close enough now where if I had a problem and it dumped a boat off the trailer, it's not going to cause a problem. And me, I also have this uh, hitch for this big old boat. That helps, but you know, you don't have to have it. Most boat ramps and most trailers on the back end till the fender just goes into the water. Now, every ramp has its own characteristic. This ramp is kind of flat, especially rough in here. Got the back end a little extra if you can see you climb over everything to get in. Uh, you have an outboard. If you're on flat ground and you can push your out drive all the way down. I mean, theoretically, you shouldn't ever hit the bottom. But sometimes the ramps will go down, they might bend like this a little bit. You want, to, you want to keep it up some. You don't have to worry about it. don't need to gun it like I see a lot of guys gun it. They take a wall of water up the ramp and water out the guy next to him. Just uh, take those easy, take your trailer clear of the water, then you can take off. The guys I see that are just flooring it, spinning their tires, trying to get their boat out and stuff, no need for that. Just slow it down and get your tires to stop spinning and power it out. Spin it next to be that guy at the ramp. So uh, if you get it in nice and smooth, get it in fast, get out of the way for the guy behind you. Always be thinking about the guy behind you. For the guy that's pulling out when you pull out, you want to uh, pack your boat up, get out of the way of everybody else. There's so many people pulling up behind you. So uh, just be respectful. All right. We're getting ready to pull the boat out. Now I'm backing up. Turn this sideways a little bit. Looking in the other mirror, looking at both mirrors. Now straighten it out. Now if you oversteer a little bit forward, it'll fix a whole lot of backwards. Pull up a little bit like this. If you guys can see that I'm trying to film this where you can see what I'm seeing in the mirror I'm gonna tell you, you figure out how to back up with your mirrors and it's a whole lot easier on you now you usually don't have to put your trailer in as far when you're loading it so I'm just gonna go right to the top of the fenders with this flat ramp that should be deep enough. 